Thanks uh, coming from President of the Trinidad and Tobago Automotive Dealers Association, Bisham Babwa, for the adjusted specifications on used hybrid vehicles eligible for tax-free waivers. Bisham Babwa says that he is glad the Minister of Finance took on board the advice he broadcast. In terms of the type of vehicles we can import now, as you would have seen in the legal notice and the press release, they made the changes that I spoke about when they first announced this about a month ago. They have removed the combined kilowatt limit, so there is no longer combined kilowatt, and they have also increased the kilowatt of the moto, which again was a bit too low when they announced it. Mr. Babwa says this means that the hybrid cars will now be in the reach of more citizens. He has concerns, however, on how long this goodwill will last. There is one point that I want to mention that I did not see an expiry date on this, which has me very wary because if they don't have an expiry date when this exemption will expire, they could come next week or tomorrow morning or next month and say, well, this is the period we have gave it for and that's the end of it. He says as well, in terms of affordability, the three-year limit stipulated could cause a barrier to some citizens. Instead of 60 to 70,000, the cars could come in at rates of 90,000 to 100,000 dollars, an investment he suggests may be out of reach for the lower-income consumer.